What's going on guys, Zedigo Fliptronics. I'm gonna be going over the Coinbase app and how they now let you borrow money based on how much Bitcoin you own. And so before we get into this, I wanna recommend everyone check out the Stack, the crypto.com trading course. Now this is gonna be good if you're just getting into cryptocurrency, but if you've been in it for a while, you're gonna learn the different trading strategies being day trading, swing trading, long-term trading. Now there's some really good tips in here. And you know, from my experience, it's always good to learn from somebody else as opposed to trying to figure everything out yourself. Save yourself a lot of time and money in the long run. So I'll have some links in both the description and comments if you wanna check it out. All right, so I've got my Coinbase account pulled up here, and I have to be honest, I do have some mixed feelings about this. And this is something that they just implemented, so they're kind of becoming almost like a, like a credit card company, I guess you could say. But here it says that you can now borrow cash using Bitcoin as collateral. So they let you borrow up to $20,000 with 8% uh, APR. They also don't do a credit check, it says, but they'll only let you borrow up to 30% of however much Bitcoin you own. So if you have $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, they'll let you borrow $3,000. And uh, you, know, you can see the interest rate is 8%. Um, honestly, like I said, I'm a little bit mixed on it, uh, how I feel about it. I did pull up a quick article here on the blockcrypto.com. There was a post about it. And uh, they kind of talked about it a little bit here, too, because I wanted to see what other people thought about it. And, you know, what Coinbase is trying to say is that, you know, if you're in a tight spot and you need some money to pay bills, you know, that's why they're doing this. But clearly, you know, they're just trying to make some more money. Uh, and, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just a little bit, <laughs> you know, uh, unsure how I feel about it. I guess if you needed some money, you could do it. Um, but at the same time, like I said, I'm just a little bit unsure about it. Uh, let me know how you, what you guys think about this, but I also wanted to go over three different coins that are, uh, you know, worth taking a look at right now. And I wanted to pull up the one month on a lot of these coins. You can see that there's been some crazy movements going on price percentage wise. A lot of altcoins are up right now, but one that you might not know about is called Orchid. This coin is a much smaller coin. It's got a... 18 million market cap so it's a lot smaller it's all-time high with 72 cents right now it's been it uh been up quite a bit for the last month it's down for the year uh and this is a vpn crypto coin so this is one of the only vpn or one of the only vpn crypto coins you know out there so i think like the value proposition here is very interesting and um I think it's a good coin to just get right now based on its price point. You know, I could easily see this coin going from 30 to 50 cents by the end of the year. And I could see it going even higher than that, you know, going into 2021, as long as the project does fine, which I imagine it will. But I also got to mention, this isn't financial advice, it's just my opinion. But another coin I've talked about quite a bit is Stellar, aka XLM. This is a... Uh, a coin that's uh, geared towards financial institutions like banks, but it's also for individual users. But you can see for the year, it's up, you know, 50%. Uh, if you could get this coin between eight and 12 cents, and then you held on to it for like a year, I definitely think the price will be in the 20 to 30 cent range. And then one other coin that um, has been on my radar for a little bit is called Algo. Uh, it's up quite a bit for the last month, um, but I think if you could get this coin between 30 and 60 cents and hold on to it for a year, I could see the price going up, you know, between uh, $1.25 up to 2 bucks. So I think this is another good one to get based on its price point. It's got a market cap of $514 million, so it's a little bit smaller. But um, bottom line, guys, like I said, this whole borrow money on Coinbase... I don't know if I'm personally going to do it. I could do it if I wanted to. I just don't know if I'm going to. Um, but it is an option now. It's uh, And this literally just came out. Anyways, if you guys could smash the like button on this, subscribe to the channel for more crypto content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.